our motto is sustainable production and consumption and good governance. The tool that we use to address that is what a lot of people think of waste and recycling. And what's really exciting to me is that we see the uh, change in how waste is managed can ripple all the way up the food chain to change the unsustainable production and consumption system. So it's a question of where local government is now legally responsible and whether it's paid for by ratepayers or taxpayers, the management of products and packaging at end of life is a local responsibility. And yet we believe that, that uh, the, the fact that everything is just whisked away uh, that everything, and that is products and packaging, the f let me start over here. The, the fact that uh, products and packaging are taken care of, whether they're recycled, buried, or burned, and there's no feedback to the people that design, make, and market, and profit from those products, that that is driving a throwaway economy and is driving the production of toxic products. There's no disincentive, very few disincentives, other than a few regulations, not to make uh, throwaway or toxic products. So it's a, it's a liberating idea that local communities and their local governments can actually be the tail that wags the dog and can make a significant contribution to reducing climate change and promoting sustainability. Oh, well, I was trained as a, as a biologist, as an ecologist, and while I was doing basic uh, ecological research on some fairly abstract theoretical questions, I got involved in the world around me. At that point, I had had a position in Georgia, and this was at a period of time when there were uh, new federal regulations promoting massive landfills in rural states like Georgia. So there they, I got involved in some citizen struggles to not have the Northeast and New York City's trash come down to these little rural counties. And I realized after a few years working on the side on, on these issues, we had really great successes uh, in terms of stopping these proposals, but it was obvious that they were just cropping up somewhere else. And I was also aware enough to know that the amount of stuff, the throughput in the economy, was growing. And that e recycling has not reduced it, shutting down landfills has not reduced it, that this throughput of goods and materials, or products and packaging as we say, is, is just growing. And that that's a big part of the problem of climate change in particular, but also uh, sustainability more generally. So that, I guess maybe that was my ecological uh, training uh, made me think in those big syst systemic uh, terms about the problem, how do you address it, and that was, you might say, the eureka moment that got me into thinking, well what do we do? If recycling is not enough, if just stopping landfills and incinerators is just a pushing it somewhere else into the next county, what do we do? And so that led me to the work I'm doing today, which is policy-oriented.